I'll be honest with you all, when I started doing research for this video, I thought to myself, there is no way I'm going to find anything interesting to say about boron. I had a lot of judgment in my heart, and I was wrong. I'm Sanjana Curtis, and this is Stardust, a series where you and I will do a deep dive into the elements of the periodic table, how and where in the universe these elements were made, and how they are a part of our lives on Earth. With only five protons in its atomic nucleus, boron is the lightest metalloid, meaning it's neither a metal nor a non-metal. Its properties lie somewhere in between. So for example, it is very hard like a metal, but does not conduct electricity at low temperatures. Like lithium and beryllium, boron is made when cosmic rays, which are mainly high energy protons, zipping through space, break apart larger nuclei, like carbon and oxygen in the interstellar medium. Making new elements in this way through cosmic ray spallation, as opposed to say in stars, is not very efficient. And that's why lithium, beryllium, and boron have some of the lowest abundances of all stable elements. So why care about boron? What can boron do for us? If you've ever used borax to clean your house or added it to your detergent, you should know that borax is a borate, a salt of boron. Borax is a historically important chemical commodity, first discovered in dry lake beds in Tibet and traded through the Silk Road in ancient times. In the 19th century, it was used for gold making, glass making, and even as medicine. Today, the United States and Turkey are the world's largest producers of boron. The largest borax mine in the world is in the state of California. On the western edge of the Mojave Desert sits a town called Boron. Here I was thinking boron is uninteresting, but I don't have a town named after me. Boron is an important micronutrient for plants, and some researchers think that boron salts may have played an important role in the origin of life on Earth. RNA is an important molecule in our cells for making proteins. One idea for the origin of life on Earth says that RNA arose first, before DNA or cells. Ribose is a sugar which is an essential component of RNA, but it breaks apart easily. Boron salts have a strong affinity for ribose and bind to it, stabilizing it, providing it a safe environment to accumulate and form RNA. Boron isotopes are also important for understanding geological processes, and they can even help us reconstruct ancient climates. The boron isotope composition of the carbonate shells of marine organisms is affected by the pH of the fluid out of which the carbonates formed. Because of this, these shells have a unique potential to record ocean surface pH, and there is an established relationship between the ocean surface pH and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. In this way, scientists can produce a record of the natural fluctuations in the level of CO2 in the atmosphere over geologic time and compare it to the recent addition of CO2 to the atmosphere due to human activity. 